It's your boy, Surgical Guru. Today we're gonna to show you how to register the Mako robot. Here's the drape. A lot of times it's easier to open it up on the table. Open it up like that. And I put my hands on the inside of the drape. Grab it like that, bring it over. And luckily we got an amazing rep here who will help us. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's the, uh, that's the other one. Wrong one. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's actually video. Yeah, it's okay. Usually we just hold it up and let them kind of do the rest. Sometimes I try to help guide it. That's how you drape it. Now we got these discs for the base array, knee femoral array, tibial array, sharp probe and block probe. So don't mind my table, it's a mess right now. Don't judge me. To put everything on, I like to open this up on the flat surface and kind of just press down on it. Now you don't want any silver showing, otherwise it might fail the registration, so you want to make sure everything is pressed down all the way. tab in the back and that'll lock it in. And then we take this off sterile. And it's not sterile underneath of there so you want to be pretty careful. Want to make sure you don't get any extra drape in there because that can mess it up too. facing the other way. Sometimes I get that wrong. It's got to be facing the wall. And then we use this driver to lock down the screws here. Ooh. And we pass the cord underneath and throw it over top to our rack. All right, then strap it on. It's not hanging all low. And on this side, it's the base array. Yeah, on this side, we put the base array on. It has like grooves here, so it fits in kind of perfectly. You can see it right there. But also, be careful because it's not sterile once you take that tab off. Kind of press it on and make sure it's locked in. And then we take the end effector array. Put that in there, lock it. Now we're good to start. Ready? All right, so we flip the handle over, make sure that the discs are facing the camera there. We hold on to the handle until it goes to 100%. And now it has this, uh, with the registration, kind of make like a 3D box. So, so up, you see on the screen there, it's like a box.
And now we flip it to how many degrees is that? 120. So 120 degrees. And that's the first part of the registration. Okay. And the second part is we take our probes. Once our coach programs it in the computer, we do the probe check. So you put the probe into like this little hole that's right here on the effector array. First the blue one. Notice that sometimes if you pull the tip out just slightly, literally just a tiny bit, it'll, it'll make it work. And also face that black piece to the ground and you can that to zoom right here. The black piece to the ground? Yeah, now. straight to the ground. Yep. Good. So take so point it all the way down. Put the black piece straight to the ground. Uh -huh. Like that? All that, keep going. Just like that, now spin it. Yeah, now go on the other side and this side. Good. Also make sure you're not covering anything when you're holding it. I feel like it's taken forever just because we're recording the video. Okay. <laughs> Come on. So you, can, nice. you can add that piece. It's all good. <laughs> and then the green code. Perfect. That's how we register the robots.